we're doing the ice cream cone today and I'll show you the one I painted and I'm actually gonna paint with you today I'm in the mood to I wanted to change this up and try a different flavor so let me um let me do this I'm gonna switch my screen here so you should still be able to see me hello and um you should be able to see the painting and I'll move that to you so this is the one I did I did the pink background I did mint chocolate chip that's my favorite ice cream um and so I'm going to switch it up and do it a little bit different but you could totally do you know with the pink background I'll give you those choices as we're going along I'll mention you know you can do a different background color or something like that okay so I'm going to flip my page here because I am completely out of five by seven canvases so I've been putting them in my um in my multimedia pad all right so let me just let me just get this I'm going to take this one and just trace it so I have the right size so I'm giving you the right size as we're doing this and I don't know if I put a pencil in the list but I painted mine on there but I think we're just going to sketch the um ice cream cone shape and do it just a little bit differently than what I did because when I did it with um the pink one I did I painted it white well first I painted it pink then I painted the ice cream white and then I went back and um painted over it again and it was kind of not drying because it was kind of humid that day so I'm just gonna try it just like this you guys can see my little pineapple I did that for fun the other day <laughs> if we have extra time I'll show you how to do the pineapple all right so first things first if you want to just sketch with a pencil we're gonna start with the ice cream cone and um, I'm just gonna do like a traditional uh, pointy cone could also do a cake cone too but let's just we'll just do the pointy cone see that okay and you know what I'm gonna do why don't I do mine I'll do it in um in sharpie I don't care if the paint goes over it or not um, you could just do yours in pencil but I'll do it in sharpie just so you can see the shape I'm drawing a little bit better on the screen go ahead Jalen it is vertical yep we're doing long ways that way we have more room for scoops unless you want to do it sideways you could always do a, a ice cream sundae you could do something a little different it's always up to you what you think you might want to to do now I fit two scoops you could do like one really huge scoop or you could do a double scoop I don't know depending on how big your cone is you might be able to fit three scoops so it's kind of up to you I'm just gonna kind of make a little round shape here see mine is I made my cone really big so I've got this here and then I'm gonna plop one right on top of it so mine's gonna go all the way to the top here so you can kind of squeeze yours in and then you know if it's too small or too big that's what erasers are for now I can't erase because I'm doing the sharpie but that doesn't matter to me because I'm gonna paint over it anyways so once you have your ice cream shape the first thing we're gonna do is with our paint is pick a color for the background so I did pink the first time but I, I kind of want to do a blue background this time just to try it I just want to see what it looks like so I'm thinking maybe I might do this color or this color I think I'll do this really bright this is a uh, cerulean blue so I'm going to do a blue background but you can do any background you want and think about your ice cream colors too because you're going to be able to do any flavor so you kind of want to pick a flavor that's going to go good you know with your background if you picked like blue moon and did a blue background well then your ice cream cone isn't going to show up right so think a little bit about your flavor you don't want your background to be the same color as your flavors of ice cream and we're going to start with a flat brush and we're going to kind of paint around this shape and if you know if you cross over your lines and stuff that's fine i'm just going to get in here and use my flat brush and i'm just going to use the edge of it and just paint all the way around here it's 
some. I'm going to take, mine's a little bit tall here, and I'm just going to take and I'm cheating a little bit and making my canvas a bit bigger. <laughs> I can do that on here. I can make that a little taller so I have a little bit of blue above the cone. Can't really do that with a canvas. There we go. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to come up with our, um, oh, what is it? The cone color. So cone color, um, I did a combination of different browns and I think I did, let me look at mine really quick. I'll look back at it. I think I did like a beigey color. I have this, okay. I have this, it's called Naples yellow. It's kind of a, it's not a real bright yellow. It's more of an earthy yellow or sandy yellow, or you can use beige. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. So if you have like a beige or a khaki color or something that, you know, would look like sand, that's, that's the color you want to go for. And then I also had a couple browns that I used. Um, one of them was umber brown, which is the dark brown. And then one of them is um, sienna brown. It's a burnt, this is raw umber, burnt sienna. Sometimes it says raw sienna and sometimes it says burnt umber, but umber is dark brown, sienna is reddish brown. So those are we're going to use in the cone. First things first, I'm going to put the lighter sandy color on there. So I'm just going to kind of paint this on. I'm using a flat brush again. I'm just going on an angle. Yeah, or you could use your larger one, whatever fits. Um, I just grabbed a smaller one because I was being lazy and I didn't want to wash the blue off the other one. So I just grabbed a smaller one. But yeah, if you're lazy like me, just grab another brush. And I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see the cone a little bit better. Woo, not that close, so move that up. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm going to do with my cone here. Um, but I'm going to mix it, get a little bit more of um, my beige yellow color. And then I'm just going to take a touch of the, um, the sienna brown, so the reddish brown, this one right here. And I, just a very little bit. Let me see if you guys can see that. So yeah, I just have a teeny tiny bit of that reddish on the end. Um, and even that might be too much. And then I'm in it. So this is kind of important, the direction you paint it, because they have like that crisscrossy pattern because it's a, like a waffly cone. They make it on a waffle maker. So I am going to paint in a diagonal direction along the shape of the cone to get some... Um, get some more color on here so it looks a little bit toasty and a little bit brown you see how I'm, I'm painting in this direction if you kind of paint all over the, the place it's not going to look um it's not going to look as correct so we want it we want to paint in the direction that the waffly cone would be see that's a little bit that's a lot of red right there but eh, it's okay it's not red it's that reddish brown i'm saying the wrong word here but the uh sienna I think I'm going to do chocolate and strawberry for mine, but you can do any flavor you want. You don't have to do the same as me. Okay, so I'm going to do chocolate for the bottom one, and I think strawberry for the top one. And I'm going to get another brush. It's my lazy painting day today. And I think what I'm going to do, I'd like to get, I don't really have a warm brown here. Like I feel like this brown would be too dark. That one's going to be too red. So I think I'm going to try and mix some of this yellow here and see if I can't get kind of a nice, um, warm, chocolatey look. So sometimes if you don't have the color, it's fun to mix. Now that almost looks a little bit grayish. Let me add a bit of red brown to it. Some, let's see. 
We'll see if this works at all. So I'm just kind of mixing. I'm like that looks chocolatey. I think that looks like chocolate. In fact, if somebody didn't know, they might eat it by mistake. <laughs> So I've got a little bit of that chocolate there. I might take a little darker brown here just to maybe give it a little shadow. Maybe where the other scoop is going to be sitting on top of there. I don't know if you can really see that very well on the camera because it's kind of shiny. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. We'll get the light brown and the dark brown. So I'm just taking some of that dark brown and just adding in some more color variation here. I'm going to take some of the red and put it into the white. I'll put a lot in there. This is going to be a dark pink. Oops. Got some blue trying to sneak in the end of it. And then what I think I'm going to do, because that's a really pink, I think I'm going to take a little more white and do this pink with some white. So a little combination of both. Take in some pink and some white just because I want it to be lighter than what my pink was there. Yeah, that looks, that looks like strawberry ice cream. It's kind of creamy looking now. Very yummy. Oh, one thing I should probably mention, as you're painting these, I usually try to, like if it's a round cone or ice cream scoop, I paint round. So if your strokes, if you keep them kind of rounded, um, it'll, it'll keep that more roundish look. It'll make it look a little bit more real. Okay. So we'll, we'll come back to this and we're going to add some little accents and details and stuff. But let's let this dry. So once you've got your scoops done and your cone, we're going to let that dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in on this just so you can see better. We're just going to do random sprinkles. Now these are shadows, so they're all going to be purple first. And then we'll go back over and make colors. But you just use your skinny liner brush and you just paint these little... Um, little well little sprinkles little lines little short lines kind of random if you want you can um also put sprinkles eventually on your ice cream cone but for right now let your ice cream cone dry we'll we'll decorate it later and you can also add um you can maybe do a little purple along the side of your cone if you want to give your cone a little bit of a shadow. So I'm doing this over the blue along the edge of the cone here. This should be dry now. So I want to get the cone textured on. Let me zoom in a bit here so you can see my whole cone. I'm going to take a little bit of that um, dark, dark brown, the umber brown, and I'm using my ultra fine, so very skinny. And then you can create some of these lines. Um, you know how the cone has little waffle lines. And I'm not going to worry about making perfectly straight lines. They don't have to be perfectly straight. We're just giving the effect of that this is like a waffle cone or a, a sugar cone. If you want, you can make the little fold over part. You know how the waffle cones are kind of folded over? So you could kind of make a little fold over part right here. I just, you know, where the one part folds over the other. And then I'm just going to keep painting on a diagonal this way. Oop, that was a little thick, but that's okay.
and then stripes going the other way because they crisscross, right? And then I'm going to give a little bit to the edge of this as well, just to kind of darken it up, give it a little bit of distinction. I'm going to do a little brown here in the white and just brighten it up so I have just some brighter spots so it's not all one color. You can kind of, you could dry brush it a little bit if you wanted. I'm not using a lot of uh, paint here, it's just a little bit of brown and white, whatever color you have. So if you did like green, you would do a little bit of green and white. And then if you want to, um, we'll just stick with a black flat brush. In my original, I switched to a round brush. You could switch to a round brush and do a little bit of uh, swirling down here to get, you know, you know how the scoop kind of sets into the cone if you want a little bit of that down there. You can swirl your brush. You could use a round brush to do that, or I'm just going to use my flat brush because I don't feel like getting another round brush out and getting it dirty. And then in order to have a little fun with this. Let me get some more brown here. Get some of that dark brown in there. Um, I'm going to take a touch of my pink and just do a little pink accent color. Not a lot, just a touch. And just give it a little bit of an accent color. I think that looks kind of pretty like that with the pink. So if you want to add something like that, you can, or you can just leave it as is. I'm probably going to add on my top one, I want to do a little bit of red. Do a touch of white in there again too. And like if you wanted to do chocolate chips and stuff, you can add the, all that kind of details if you want to add some of that fun stuff. Give it some color, a little pop of color. I'm going to add some red up there. We're going to go back over those sprinkle shadows and you're just going to do lots of different colors for your sprinkles. So like I'll start with maybe I'll start with the red and what you're going to do is you're going to overlap it. So here's the shadow is in the purple and then I'm just going to go right above it. So it kind of overlaps a little bit. So like there's a red sprinkle right there. I'm going to I'll zoom in just a tad here so you can kind of see me do a couple different colors. So I'm just kind of overlapping these. I'm not going right on top of the purple. I'm going right next to the purple. And I'm keeping it thick because I want it to kind of stand up and look like a sprinkle. If you keep your paint kind of thick on your skinny brush there, it'll, it'll show up a little bit better and look almost like somebody had dropped a sprinkle on there. So I'm going to finish my reds and then I'll do some more colors. It looks like confetti. Got sprinkles everywhere. It looks like fun confetti. I'm going to have fun and put a few on my ice cream just because I want to. Because I think that'll be fun too. Just to have some different colors on there.
Hey, it's Rose from The Painted Toad, and if you really enjoyed this painting, make sure you like and subscribe so you can do more paintings like this one. I really love how it turned out, and I hope you love how yours turned out too. See you later.